Fare thee well to you, my own true love. I am going far away. I am bound for California, yea, but I know that I'll return someday. So fare thee well, my own true love, and when I return united we will be. It's not the leaving of Liverpool that grieves me, but my darling, when I think of thee, I have signed on a Yankee sailing ship. Davy Crockett is her name, and the captain's name is Burgess, and they say she's a floating hell. So United we will be It's not the leaving of Liverpool that grieves me But my darling, when I think of thee Oh, the sun is on the harbour wall And I wish I could remain But I know it will be some long, long time before I see you again So fare thee well my own true love And when I return united we will be It's not the leaving of Liverpool that grieves but my darling, when I think of thee, so farewell the princess landing stage, River Mersey, fare thee well. It's not the leaving of Liverpool that grieves. The purpose of Runcorn is to uh, provide uh, better living conditions for mainly Liverpool people where the position is uh, rather desperate. And uh, this is a new town, eventually to have 100,000 population. It starts with the existing township of Runcorn of 27,000. And uh, the conception really is very simple. It is an endeavor to provide a balanced town in which the motor car has certain privileges, public transport has certain privileges, and people, perhaps most of all, have the privilege of walking about in safety from their homes to their, as far as the children are concerned, to their schools, and the parents to their social facilities, to the shopping center, and so on. I think if you approach Runcorn by car, you feel that the town is yours and you can get anywhere in the town up to a certain point where the places where people live. But if you approach by bus, you perhaps arrive at the city center and there you get on a bus, well, you feel that uh, the world is yours too because this bus has the right of way along special routes and the traffic lights are so arranged that uh, when they come to a crossing, the lights are in favor of the bus. And if you are on foot uh, within the heart of the residential areas, 
you don't come across a car. You've got your special walkways. When you come across the uh, busway, um, you go over a bridge or un under a subway, so that uh, although all the facilities are there, none of them are in conflict. Of course, this is not just a technical theory. In the end, the test of a new town is whether people are satisfied. And I think it's true to say that the people have found the, this simple bus service, which is a figure of eight uh, in this way, they found this very convenient. Uh, the bus drivers, incidentally, have said that they feel that as though they were on holiday because they have no traffic in the way. They can go at 30, 40 miles an hour. And the uh, people, the passengers, complain that the journeys are too short. Uh, but of course, the principle is this, that the shopping city is at the center of the new town. <laughs> This is virtually a very large air-conditioned box which is split up into areas for shopping, social and commercial uses and is elevated above the ground by approximately 20 feet. All of the shopping takes place at this upper level but storage and other uses such as cinemas, squash courts, entertainment, public houses can take place below this level which is the level at which the ordinary vehicles service the centre. Pedestrians coming into the centre come into the corners from the valley side. They come along a horizontal footpath through the edge of the car park here and into the centre without having to go down or uphill. Likewise, the people on the busway come into the town centre on the busway here, get off the bus under cover and go down by escalator to the access level to the shopping. People who come on country buses come in at the ground level underneath that and come up to ground level here by escalator and also into the shopping centre. People coming to do their shopping trips by car come into, at present, the four multi-storey car parks sited in the four corners of the shopping area. This allows all people, whether walking on the bus or by car, to have easy, safe access into the centre, which is fully protected from the vagaries of the English weather. This is not only a commercial center, but also a service center. Could you show us where both are located? Yes, within the main shopping area here, there are some service uses. There are cinemas, there will be a dance hall and a social club. But in the northern loop of the road system here, we have commercial offices here, a police station, law courts, commercial offices here, and a public library there. And in a further phase of the shopping city, to be built to the south, there will be other entertainment and commercial uses. and a series of residential communities are linked by a bus route which goes through the centres of those communities. And at each centre is a bus stop. The bus stop is at the local shopping centre. So there's a, a link uh, between the major shopping centre and the minor shopping centre. The schools are also located at the, near, at the centre points so that um, if you happen to go to a school in a different community, you can also go by bus. And everyone in each of these communities is within walking distance of their local shop and of the bus stop and of the school. 
In fact, there is a walking module, that is the starting point of this town, that facilities are planned within walking distance. When they're outside that distance, well, you have to go by public transport along the figure of eight route, or you go by car, if you wish. But the principle of the car, in, its, uh, in the way it's ar arranged within the structure, is that it should be, have its main movements outside the town. It should, there should be not, no through traffic. The roads are outside. They have their feeders in to each community. And in the middle is a town park. And the style of the architecture we have here is very largely dictated by the site. The centre of the, of the town, as you know, is this large rock with the ruins of the castle on it. And we very consciously made a decision that we would keep all of the buildings fairly low in relation to that, and also relate their colours and textures to the old sandstone colours of the, of the rock. Hence the housing that you see around here on Horton Brow is in a, a brown brick precisely chosen to match in with the colour of the old sandstone up here. Similarly, on other housing development, we've kept a very simple vocabulary of materials because we feel the most important aspects of this sort of development are the quality one can put into the landscaping and the importance of the people themselves. Is it not too expensive to care so much about architecture? Good architecture is a good investment. Do you think it pays off in the long run? Oh, indeed. I think the up-to-date, uh, about getting on for £100 million has been spent on Runcorn. Half of that money has come from private sources. If it wasn't good value, it, we wouldn't have got money from private sources. Thank you.